What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 21st Java Advanced tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take our encrypted string and then decrypt it back into our original string. So I know a lot of you guys probably have already done this because it's actually not that hard and uh, it'll probably take me a whole minute to explain, not even. So this tutorial is going to be super short and let's get on with it. So to decrypt our string, all we have to do is do the reverse operation of how we encrypted. Now there's not much to reverse, so let's just copy and paste this whole for loop here. So copy, and then underneath our print statement, let's paste it out. And then basically all we have to do is we have to take the reverse operation of this little statement right here. Since we multiplied each character, each um, numerical value that represents a character in our original string by 9, um, we have to do the reverse operation down here. So if this value, capital B, was equal to 1, we multiplied it by 9, which is going to give us an integer value of 9. So in here, we're going to take that 9 and divide it by 9 instead of multiplying by 9, and we will get back our original value. So basically all we have to do is put a division sign right there and print out our decrypted string. So decrypted plus pa oops plus password and that will give us our decrypted string back. So if we run this, it says decrypted is bubbles. So if you guys didn't understand that, basically all you have to do with um, a decryption algorithm, you do the exact same thing, but whatever mathematical operations that you performed, um, do the reverse operation um, algebraically in the decryption algorithm. So if we had plus nine up here, you would do minus nine down here. If you had divide nine up here, you'd have multiply by nine down there. So that's it for this tutorial. That was really short. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to comment down below or send me an email. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.